How you doing? This is Josh Harden with Augusta Lawn Care. We're doing a review today on the 30 inch Skag push mower slash walk behind. Okay, we're gonna put it through multiple terrains today. We're gonna have it on slopes, we're gonna have it on new cuts, fresh mows, and we're gonna just really get a good example on what it's gonna go through on a day to day basis on your truck. I'm Ryan Payne, owner of Daniel Industries Power Equipment, uh, Augusta Lawn Care of Corpus Christi and Texas Lawn Pros. We have here the new Skag 30 inch push mower. This one is a prototype, so it's not the finished product. Uh, we did have a chance for some of our guys out in the field to demo it yesterday. And I want to give all of you guys our opinion on it, both from a dealer point of view and a lawn care point of view, because uh, that's something that we happen to do both of. So a few things I like on this mower is it does have the Kohler Command Pro. The, uh, this one right here is the 224cc engine. It's the same engine that comes on the Xmark and Toro 30s, the new repowered ones. I can tell you this, it doesn't lack in power. You can see from the footage, we did some first time cuts with it and it just mows through the grass. Uh, one thing that's nice about it also is it has a one gallon fuel tank. You also have this military grade steel so everyone knows skags are well known for their fabricated decks and their spindles i'm going to go ahead and show you underneath of it this has almost an identical deck to your v-ride so you can look up under this deck you can see the has the commercial grade spindles it has the reinforced edges on the sides just like your zero turn mowers from skag uh, one thing they don't ever skimp out on is the metal work that's what they're known for and this thing doesn't disappoint you when it comes to that one thing that we do love about it is you have your hose drain connection right here for when you do your oil changes. I know a lot of you guys that currently use the X Mark 30s and the Toro 30s, you're used to having to tip these big boys on their side, you know, to get that oil out. You don't have to do that on this one. It's a godsend when it comes to doing your maintenance. It does come with a side discharge. This is one of the coolest features on this mower is it does come with a mulch plate. I know around here we don't bag very much. It's We usually side discharge or mulch, but if you look, there's a clip right here. You open that up, pull this off. This is how easy it is to switch from one to the other when you're out in the field. And the clip's right there and you just lock it down and now you're mulching. When it comes to the bag, it's just like all the rest. You just lift this up and pop it out. Here's one con I do have about this. So this bag, these are, plastic and they have to go in this tiny hole so when you're sitting here after you've been using it all day if you bag a lot you can see how tedious this is to get in here and yeah I can get it eventually but if you're dumping bag after bag I could see where this would get a little old I mean yeah you can see it down inside here you do have your plug that's when you put your mulch kit on. If you're bagging, you pull that plug out just like your Toro or your X Marks. One great thing about this mower that I, we like also is all the cabling goes inside the handrails. I know that's something that not a lot of people are used to. We have problems with our cables on our Toros and X Marks. This keeps them fully protected. I think that's a great design. I think Skag did a wonderful job there. Another small thing that, you know, when you get mowers in this price range, just to get right to the point, uh, what, from what we've heard, this mower is going to be $21.99. It's right in the same price point as all the competitors. I think Skag did a wonderful job getting it into that price point for what you're getting and the machinery you're getting. Uh, one thing that we like about it is your parking brakes right here. So on and off. The way it works is there's a couple screws in here. That's what helps lock it in place, All right? So when this is down, this lever can't come up. It's kind of how it works. I'm not gonna lie, it's just like the X marks. We had the parking brake fail on us. We also don't have it work on any of our Toros or X marks. So just get used to that. It's just another one where the parking brake's not great. I know it really doesn't affect our day to day, um, but that's something to be mindful of. Yes, it has a parking brake, it may be better on the release model. This is a prototype, um, but that's one problem that we had, but we're so used to it with our other 30 commercial push mowers. It wasn't a big deal. 
the bottom right here one great thing is if you look in this channel you see how it's grooved out that groove is perfectly aligned for this handle see how it falls right in there so when you're using it it's very ergonomic compared to some of the other ones one thing I like about it too is the height the handle sit. So I know on our X marks, they're kind of down here by your waist. You're almost pushing down and forward. On this one, you got three adjustments for your handle. So you got different height people. You just put in these squares, you just loosen this and move it up or back. So you can get it where you want it, but this is almost perfect for me. It has the same thing when you pull this handle up down here, it also falls right in this groove. So if you got both of them, you can see that's real easy to handle. I know if you're used to the X Marker Toros, the 30s, you have the three speed transmission knob on the back. On this one, the way you adjust it is this handle pulls a cable right here that goes down inside. So you have two nuts on here you can adjust and it'll determine how much slack you have in that line. The more slack, the slower it's gonna go when you pull up because it's not pulling as much of that throttle cable. That's how you adjust the speed. We were able to do it in the field yesterday pretty easy to get it where we were comfortable. I know uh, it can make you run just like all the other mowers. If you don't change it, you'll be jogging. One good thing we liked about this one also compared to our other ones is it comes with an hour meter. So I'm sure you guys that do your own maintenance, you can appreciate that. On our Toros and our X Marks, you know, we put our own hour meter on some of them, but it ends up getting hit and falling off or the screws strip out of the plastic housing you screw them into. So it's nice to have this feature built into it. Another thing that's nice about this mower is your belt system. So it's right in here, just like your bigger mowers. It's very easy to get to. You have your tensioner pulley, just like every skag you've ever known. It's not a timing system, so if your belt goes out, you don't have to worry about adjusting anything. You can just put a replacement belt on and get back to work. Carry these in your trucks. They're real easy to change. You just put your half inch socket in here and turn it in that square, and that will loosen this belt so you can get it off and replace it. Uh, well, let me touch on this too. So these are made at uh, Metalcraft of Mayville in Wisconsin, where all the other skags are made. So it's US built. It's built with military grade steel. It does have the fabricated deck, like I mentioned. Um, so you're getting everything you expect as far as the metal work on this. Uh, out in the field, the guys did mention that if you're in real thick grass, like we did a couple first time cuts, these do have a tendency to lose traction. The back wheels, they'll kind of spin on the grass. You really got to get into it. Uh, they also mentioned, I mean, it is a little heavier than your X Mark or your Toro. Uh, we just got done with this property and these are my thoughts on this machine. The torque on this machine is super, super phenomenal. Best buy as, as far as push mowers go, or as far as if you want to walk behind of a lawnmower, this mower is the mower you want to get for the job. Okay, as far as the pros and cons on this mower, the pros, it has good torque, has excellent lines, it leaves excellent lines in the yard, nice for striping. Now the cons. Whenever you're pushing it and you try to get to your stopping point to where you have to turn around and get back on the same line, it's a little bit tough, but it's nothing that, you know, if you work in this industry, you gotta be a tough man. So that's just something that's gonna come and you gotta give and take with these machines. But overall, this machine right here is perfect for the day-to-day -day use on push mowing yards. If you have a, a bigger field that you need to push mow, this, this push mower will be able to get the job done. No doubt, no problem. It's not a problem at all. We're back here on day two. I forgot a couple things yesterday I wanted to point out. Uh, one thing I want to show you is, I know on the other 30 inch mowers, you have your deck level height adjustment on all the wheels. On this one, you just have one lever. You just push it forward and you'll see it locks this in place. Then you can pull your pin. You set your height just like you do on your zero turn. So if you want to go down to two inches, you drop it here and then the whole thing lowers. One thing you might want to be careful about is you don't want to slam this back because it can bend this pin. So just make sure that you take your time, lower it down, but it does make it quick to do your height adjustments. You can see here there's some zip ties that we had put on for these wires. 
So these cables kind of go through a bad spot. And whenever you're opening this flap, they can get pinched in here. Um, I've already talked to our SCAG rep. He said that these wires are gonna be rerouted on the release model. That's something they're already fixing. Uh, so SCAG is listening to all the advice that we're giving them, the feedback we have on these mowers, and they are making changes to make them the mower that everybody wants. A uh, couple things on this, you know, I will say we're super excited to have this cat's eye gold push mower. I know if you're a Skag Nation guy, you've been looking forward to having this color mower on your deck. You know, if you're like us, our trucks have all Skag, you got the one red push mower and you're pretty excited to get that red mower off your truck. I don't think it'll be a game changer, but I do think it's a quality unit. We are gonna switch our trucks over to these when they release. What they're telling us right now is there should be limited availability towards the end of May, beginning of June. Not quite full production, but there will be some units getting spotted out there in the wild. Uh, when it comes to the power on this, I would give it a 10 out of 10. I mean, this thing throws grass. We did a first time cut yesterday with Bahia grass knee high. We didn't have to do double, you know, two or three passes. One pass, we were done. Uh, the transmission power, I would also give that, you know, an 8 or 9 out of 10. It will make you jog. It's pretty easy to adjust. You don't have a huge problem with that. With the maneuverability, I would probably give it a 4 or 5 out of 10. I mean, for the size of the mower, you kind of know what you're getting into, but it can be a bear to turn in that thick St. Augustine grass. Uh, the higher the grass, the harder it is because the grass touches the deck. I think part of it's how wide these wheels are. You know, they get pretty tough to turn in the thick grass along with the weight. I think it's weighted a little too much towards the back. So when you're going up hills, you almost have to push it up and forward at the same time. I can only imagine if you have a bag full of grass, this thing's gonna be wanting to pop willies. I mean, you can see how easy I'm, I'm pushing it. Uh, that was feedback from our crew out in the field is they wish it was a little lighter overall and they also wish it had a little more weight in the front. Um, you know, maybe that's some changes they'll make. I think this deck is way more reinforced than it needs to be. For being a push mower, you know, you're not gonna run into a tree at 13 or eight miles an hour. So it does look good and it's what you expect from a Skag, but I think it's kind of overkill on this one. It adds a lot of unnecessary weight. I wish this lever was straight vertical up in here inside the wheel well base instead of over the wheels. And that could be a change that makes. Again, this is a prototype and we're just giving all the feedback we can on it. because we, I think it's a great mower, but it could be the best with a few small tweaks. Um, if you want to see more reviews, we do get a lot of the equipment into our dealerships before everybody else has access to it. Um, we will be putting more up. I do have the brand new 24 inch stand on aerator from Toro. If you'd like to see a video about that or see it in action, you can see some of the plugs here in the nursery that we've pulled with that machine. Um, if you want to see more about it or it, see that in action and getting used, just drop a comment below and let us know you're interested and we'll take the time to make the video. If there's any other equipment you'd like to see an in-depth video on, whether it's Skag, Toro, Steel, or Echo, we stock them all. I can get my hands on it. I know I had a few requests for that GA26 hand pruner from Steel. Just let us know what you would like to see and we can give you the opinion both from a dealer and service and warranty side of things and also out in the field with our multiple lawn care companies and how they are to use, put on your trucks, your day-to-day -day life. I want to give a big shout out to Skag for letting us have access to this prototype and our distributor, Top Equipment. Um, they've been excellent uh, through all of COVID. You know, they're the ones that have kept us with inventory and we can't thank them enough. I know our rep, Corey, personally brought this down here for me because I was bugging him to get my hands on it to give you guys some footage. I want to personally thank Corey. I want to thank Top Equipment and the Elliott family for giving us access to this and being such a good support to our dealership. And I want to thank Skag for always making great products. I appreciate it. You guys have a good one.